but I think cities have different qualities. And if I had to give a one word uh, quality to Edmonton, it would be community. My name is Connie Massing and I'm a playwright and a screenwriter. I've worked in theater for a lot of my professional life and I think there is something really important about sitting in community, watching a live performance, seeing something of yourself in the people on stage and that you carry that impression uh, with you out into the world again. And I think that can be life-altering in a small way. I'm very fascinated by areas of the city um, where we just pass through, um, kind of temporary spaces like intersections and maybe places where people even don't walk physically. My name is Taryn Kniedemann and I'm a visual artist. I guess I think art is important to community because it can provide a little, a little bit of a glimpse of quiet or um, a glimpse uh, to look closely but also to look, look inside oneself. I'm interested in the, these spaces that maybe they appear empty or transitory but they're really full of maybe just things that um, from one perspective you don't know about until you look more closely. Uh, Edmonton's just a very dynamic community. Um, when I said I wanted to start a theatre company, people said, well, that's an interesting idea. How can I help? And that's the kind of place Edmonton still is. My name is Jerry Potter. I'm a writer, director, and filmmaker. I started Workshop West in 1978. Uh, a couple of other companies that I've helped start are still going too, uh, Rising Sun Theatre. I've been lucky in that I've been able to, I like starting things, even though it's really hard. Um, it's been a, Edmonton has been a good place to do that and it's a good place to build things in. For me, I, I'm a theater guy, so I take inspiration from people like Shakespeare. His advice to the artist was to hold the mirror up to nature. And I think art is uh, something that reflects the community back to itself. I'm interested sort of in very classical theater. I love Shakespeare, but then I'm also interested in very new work, so sort of the two ends of the spectrum. My name is Jessie Ardern. I'm an actress and a playwright here in Edmonton. Theater is something that absolutely has to be experienced in the moment within a community. We tend to stay in our bubble because that's what we're fed. What we, what we have watched and what we're planning to watch is so tracked that it's easy not to see anything that you hadn't planned on. And it's very easy to stop watching or viewing something that makes you uncomfortable. And theater is one of the few art forms where you, there is an expectation that you will keep watching, that you will bear witness. And you gotta, you gotta keep watching, <laughs> for better or for worse. So, I love this place, I love this building. A few of them like home because I've been involved in the films in the past and I've been involved in the theater community here in Strathcona. My name is Chris Dodd. I'm a deaf performing artist and a multiple playwright. From my perspective of being a deaf audience member and a deaf performer, I don't feel that deaf people we know included within Figure and Amazon. For the past while, well, I've been working with Works Up West Playwrights Theatre in Edmonton for the Sound Off at Deaf Theatre Festival that's coming in February. And all the artists involved are deaf themselves. I'm going to be having uh, folks over on Drupal who are going to be on the sidelines. And the folks over on Drupal will watch what the performers are doing and voice it for the hearing audiences. What I want to try to do is to bring those types of performance out into the open so that people, more people can see them, more people can expose them, and more people can appreciate the beauty of American fact in its own states. I'm Dwayne Martineau. I am a visual artist and musician. You can almost think of art as more of a verb than a noun. It's, it's something that is um, done, it's active, it's, it's 
It's a form of community engagement. It's a form of creating communities. A lot of my work, um, visual arts work, revolves around sort of explorations of the natural world. I do a lot of experimental photography. Go here. One of the great things about Edmonton is that in most of the neighborhoods that you live, um, you know, you can go, you know, five minutes in some direction and basically find yourself in, you know, a, a little, you know, urban forest or a piece of, um, you know, river valley. Ah, oh, goodness, Harriet. <laughs> off, off, off. Off, off. Harriet, off. I, I have um, writer's block a lot, and it is difficult, but I just feel compelled to keep telling stories, and I feel compelled to be creative. Uh, my name's Jason Chin, and I'm a playwright in Edmonton. I usually write about um, the things that we don't talk about, kind of secrets that we carry with us, whether it's uh, sexuality or regret or or things that that are lurking underneath that bubble up in unexpected ways I think it's very important that art makes us uncomfortable because we can be complacent in our daily lives and we can turn a blind eye to th injustices or things that you know maybe we should we should actually confront and whether those are, are personal or out in the world it's just a means for us to do better and improve. The places that I use to usually now in this in this present time is, uh, is outdoors. Um, I I don't get inspired whenever I am in in a in a, a studio setup. My name is Tony Olivares. I am a dancer, a choreographer, a performer, a visual dance artist, in, in the Edmonton area. Well, in terms of being an artist and creating art in a site-specific place, it just brings awareness to the space. Uh, as an artist, I find it challenge. Uh, there's a lot of challenge happenings in, in those kind of spaces uh, because they're just, you know, they're, everything is unpredictable, can be unpredictable. And the specific place wherever we are is always um, giving you a different a vocabulary. It's pushing you to create a different vocabulary and movements. I do a lot of voice memos in my car. Like a lot of the time you can hear the signal going in the background. A lot of time I'll be driving and something will just pop in my head. So I'll pull over and, you know, just kind of hash through a melody and make up some words. I'm Lauren Gillis. I'm a singer songwriter. I'm also known as Lucette. Um, here, this is my parents' house. Uh, I've lived in Edmonton my whole life and was raised playing the piano behind me. Art, uh, music is thought provoking, but it also brings people together. I think art create, creates community. It's not only important to get new opinions and new ideas, but it's the one thing that I think brings people together. It's not only the music community, but it's also just having that um, kind of deeply rooted family life that I love coming home to. If I go on tour, 